Hello, my name is Adelie Shuck, and I am doing a media project for my young adult lit class. Today, I'm going to talk about Meg Cabot's mediator series. What's a mediator, you ask? Oh, a person who acts as a liaison between the living and the dead. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing with that straitjacket? Meg Cabot, Twilight, page 24. In her young adult paranormal teen romance series, Meg Cabot, well-known author of the Princess Diaries series, tells the story of Susie Simon, a 16-year-old protagonist who bridges the gap between the living and the dead. Um, according to blog posts by Escapism from Reality.blogspot.com and Jillian Eberry.blogspot.com, there's kind of a general consensus among fans um, as to what the series is about. And at the core is the relationship between Susie and Jesse De Silva. Susie, the sarcastic mediator who has left New York. Um, and moved to Northern California, and Jesse, who is a 150-year-old Spanish ghost who lives in her bedroom, um, and their story of setting out to uh, tell the slightly predictable but enduring story of ghost bum busting and love and all that other fun stuff you find in YA stuff. Um, this six-book series reads extremely episodically, almost like a television show. Um, as several people have pointed out on the Goodreads page, it's best to read the books in quick succession because of this episodic nature. Um, on the topic of television, there have been talks in several places of perhaps making The Mediator as a TV show. Um, I would be very happy about this. Um, Meg Cabot herself on um, megcabot.com uh, stated that Free, Man Free Mantle Media, um, which is known for American Idol and The Biggest Loser, um, have optioned The Mediator. Um, and unfortunately, this was back in April of 2013, so I don't know if that's going to actually happen, but fingers crossed because that would be wonderful. Um, the most exciting news, though, was um, as I was researching this for this project, was that I discovered a new book that's going to be coming out in... Um, February 2016, that is a mediator book. Um, it's called Remembrance. Um, it's the first adult title in the series and it's going to be released by HarperCollins next year. Facebook, Twitter, Meg's website, and several of the blogs are as excited about it as I am. Um, what I find interesting about this seventh installment is that not only is it a continuation of what has seemed to be a fairly finished series, um, but that it's also left the young adult section. Um, Meg Cabot appears to be kind of pioneering the shift of reader audience as her novel about Princess Mia's from Pr Princess Mia from the Princess Diaries wedding um, is also classified as an adult novel. Um, I have to wonder why this shift from YA to adult fiction is now happening um, and what makes these books these new books unfit for a young adult audience. Um, I won't be able to tell until they're released and I've read them but I'm really excited to read them and see what's going on. Um, on www.megcabot.com slash mediator, one will find an excerpt and a blurb for each of the six books that have currently been released. Um, because of the episodic nature of these books, um, this is a great place to check out the storylines for each book. Um, one of my favorite features that has come along with the inclusion of media in an author's arsenal is that Readers now have access to the first chapter or a sneak peek that they previously weren't able to access. With this series, each book has that blurb online to draw the attention, but then it also has like a whole writing sample that really sells the author for me. I, like many other teenage girls, um, love Meg Cabot. Um, I have a whole shelf dedicated to her on my bookcase. Uh, this is largely because I enjoy the way that she writes. It's really easy to read and the style is contemporary even with its dated references. Um, it still feels like how a teenager would act and talk. Um, because of the excerpts on our blog, it's really easy to pull people in um, to share her style, like writing style with people. Um, like my 13-year-old cousin who is just now getting into reading YA books. Um, media has become a huge part of what has made Meg Cabot such a successful YA author. Her commercial success with the Princess Diaries movies um, and having another one of her books, Avalon High, turned into a Disney Channel movie um, have really pr promoted um, Meg to the top of the YA totem pole, especially with teenage girls. Um, she has upward of 12,000 followers on just the Mediators page on Facebook. And um, she also has 234,000 Twitter followers. Um, 
I think it's very interesting, and I don't know that she would have been as successful in a time where she and her platform would have been diminished because of the technological setbacks of not having the media outlets to sell herself and her writing. Um, media is extremely important tool um, to wield as an author in today's wor world. Um, people like John Green and Meg Cabot are definitely taking advantage of this communication opportunity. Thank you.